Okay, pre-cal, this is your third video about uh, simplifying trigonometric expressions. I'm trying not to overload you with information here. So we are going to look at example 14 in your unit 7 notes. And we are going to um, manipulate this problem mathematically to uh, ensure that it is down to one term without addition subtraction and without a fraction. So I am going to look at my denominators and get my LCD so that I can combine these two fractions. So my LCD will look just like that. I'm gonna rewrite my original problem. And then, of course, I am going to multiply both sides by what's missing in the LCD. All right, so sine times sine gives me sine squared theta. Plus, and notice here this cosine has to get distributed to both of those. So I've got cosine theta times 1, and then cosine squared theta, all over my LCD. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to analyze this and see if there's anything I can replace in my fraction using my identities. So... Notice I've got a sine squared theta and a cosine squared theta here. So my identities page tells me that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So that means that I can change this and this into a 1. It doesn't matter that they're separated with another term in between because I'm still adding them together. So I'm going to replace those with a 1. And then, of course, don't forget this cosine theta comes right down here. And then what I'm going to do, if you'll notice, this looks exactly like this. So I'm going to cross those out. I'll be left with a 1 in the numerator over sine theta. I do not want a fraction. So I'm going to go back to my identities page. 1 over sine is equal to cosecant. So, awesome. So cosecant theta. Look how pretty that is. Excellent. Okay, number 15. This is your last um, example like this. So again, I am going to start with my LCD. It's going to consist of a 1 plus sine theta and a cosine theta. So rewrite my problem. And of course, I'm going to multiply both sides by what's missing. In my LCD. All right, so here I've got cosine squared theta plus, you have to be careful here, you've got to FOIL these two things. So I end up with 1 plus sine theta plus sine theta plus sine squared theta. And of course, in my denominator, cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta. Okay, so in the numerator, I'm going to take care of some common, uh, common terms that I can add together, combine like terms. So I notice right off the bat that I've got sine theta and sine theta, so that's going to be 2 sine theta. And then I've got this 1 right here. So 1 sine, oh, 1 plus 2 sine theta. And notice you've got sine squared theta here and cosine squared theta here. When I'm adding those together, I can easily replace those with a 1 because of the identity. And then I've got over cosine theta times 1 sine theta. 
So I'm going to combine like terms again because these ones actually are two. And then you'll notice we're kind of stuck. But I want you to notice that because there's a two here and a two here, I can factor those out. Watch what's going to happen when I factor those out. Pretty. That and that. Ooh, beautiful. 2 over cosine theta. It's the same thing as 2 times 1 over cosine theta. And I know that 1 over cosine theta is actually secant. So 2 times secant theta. One term, no fractions, no addition and subtraction.